Good day, or as we say in New Mexico, howdy. I might be the strongest man in New Mexico if this was two inch wire rope. At 40 foot, this would weigh about 600 pounds. This is our brand new plasma 12 strand strop. 40 foot length only weighs about 65 pounds. Quite a difference. Hi, I'm Ken Kempa, Maintenance Safety Coordinator at Navajo Mine, New Mexico Coal. About a year ago, my boss said, Ken, we've been using two-inch wire chokers for a long time to remove stuck mining equipment. There's a lot of downsides to it. The 20-footers we use weigh about 300 pounds. They're very difficult to manhandle. They're hard to get in position to put on equipment. There's a great potential, too, for our employees to hurt their backs, get strains and sprains trying to manhandle it. He says, see what you can come up with. I did some research and found a really neat product called plasma 12 strand. It's made out of 12 strands. It looks like it's a purple rope. That's a great injustice to call it that. This is a real high-tech synthetic. It is just about the strongest synthetic there is in the market. Right now, as you already saw, we have the class three strop that's used for heavy equipment like crest trucks, end dumps, bottom dumps, dozers for removing them when they're stuck. Then we also have a little bit smaller, a class two, which is very lightweight. That's used for drill rigs, smaller dozers, graders, blades. Then we have a class one, which is even smaller still. This doesn't weigh but five pounds, if that. That's used for welding trucks, service trucks, also light vehicles, medium duty trucks. We also have looked at this right here. This is a, called a black snake. It's got a Kevlar core coated with rubber, vulcanized. We use this for light vehicles only. There's a lot of advantages to these synthetics. Number one is weight, very lightweight. Uh, if we've been using a 40 foot, two inch wire choker, which we can't because a 20 footer alone weighs 300 pounds, but a 40 footer would weigh 600 pounds. Earlier on, you saw me with a 3R plasma 12 strand strap that only weighs about 65 pounds, about one tenth what equivalent strength steel weighs. Last May, there was an incident in Australia where they were pulling a stuck dozer out. Things went wrong, a lot of things went wrong. The end result was when the, the strap broke, a heavy casting that was in the eye, a loop, came flying back and came through the window of the cab. Number one priority in BHP is to eliminate hazards. That's one thing we like so much about these straps is there is no metal in the eyes. So how did we come up with the classes at New Mexico Coal? We got a list of all the equipment we had at the mine. We had the weights listed also, and some natural breaks occurred. We were able to find that through careful selection, three classes, a 3R, a 2R, and a 1R can take care of all of our medium and heavy duty equipment. Key to the simplicity of the program at New Mexico Coal is the classes 2R, 3R, 1R. So how does the guy in the field know what he's supposed to use? We made it real easy for the mechanic in the field or the production operator. In every piece of equipment, we have these red recovery requires nameplates. They tell the operator exactly what size drop he needs should he ever get stuck. All he has to do is call and say, hey, I'm stuck. Bring me a two-hour strop and come, come get me out. So we've got three classes. We've got the red recovery requires nameplates in each cab. How do we identify the straps? We use a stainless stamp nameplate on every strap. So the equipment is identified, the straps are identified. It's a very simple system. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do a little destruction testing. This is a two hour strap. That's the class two. It's medium duty use. Dash 30 means 30 feet or 10 meters. We're gonna try to pull it apart with two D11, two Caterpillar D11 dozers. Let's see what happens. As you can see, the eyes are built to go over the ripper shank on a dozer for pulling. They've got a protective sleeve that's also been coated with urethane for protection. The main run of the strap is coated with the black protective sleeve to keep it clean. It has a capacity of about 75,000 kilos breaking strength, and it barely weighs 10 kg. It's very lightweight and strong. You can do this a one-man operation instead of doing a two-people operation or a three because if you end up taking a person off of the equipment just to test this, you know, you're kind of wasting manpower. 
compared to this one. This one is just, you can do everything on your own, especially uh, when you're all by yourself. Okay, we're ready to pull it apart. Well, the manufacturer says the plasma 12 strand strap only stretches about 4 to percent or so to failure. And the reaction we saw, it just kind of came apart. There was no violent whip back, snap back, no violent energy release, which is what you want. Uh, steel cable, if we would have used it and it would have broken, there would have been quite a violent reaction coming back. So we're very pleased with how this performs. In the past, I've seen a steel cable break, uh, pull in another equipment and it does react differently. This one just pretty much just broke. It broke real smooth, and pretty much uh, that was the main thing. Really neat. I, I, I like that. You think the guys would rather wrestle with a 300-pound, two-inch wire choker or one of these straps? I will let them use this. Man, it's just it's awesome, just how, how it works and stuff. You remember how we pulled, uh, earlier this year, we pulled the press truck out with just a Turno 1100? straps.